Douglas County following day-long clashes between police and protesters who had turned up for protests championed by the opposition. Protesters managed or rather damaged part of the Nairobi Expressway, uprooting a section of the expressway's fence and destroying other installations. Our very own Abdul Ayub Abdul Kadi was there and this is what he witnessed. A rather unusual Nairobi Expressway. This road is usually busy, but traffic diversion on the expressway at the junction that links with the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport signaled something was not right. And after driving for a while, we could see smoke billowing from afar in Mlolongo, Machakos County. Here, protesters touched a vehicle belonging to one of the area security heads. They told us they were here for the anti-government protests the opposition, as Emil Laumoja One Kenya called for, to pressurize the government to address the high cost of living in the country. They are disgruntled by the killing of one of their own. Two other demonstrators were also killed in the afternoon. And after six hours of standoff, tear gas and gunshots rent the air. The situation got intense, with the police getting reinforcements to keep at bay the demonstrators who appeared determined to push back against the law enforcement. Different formations were deployed here, including the administration police, regular police, directorate of criminal investigation officers, anti-terror police unit, and the general service unit. The Nairobi Expressway bore the brunt, with extensive damage visited on this key bit of infrastructure, with police constantly lobbing tear gas and firing in the air to keep away the demonstrators from the toll station where the expressway ends. Broken flower pots, damaged fence, and rocks flung at the police officers scattered along the road, an illustration of the chaos that reigned here. After managing to disperse the protesters, security agencies embarked on unclogging the traffic snarl-up that had been building for hours. Many who are caught up in the stretch traffic telling us about their frustrations. So, Nimesi Mama from Pale Katani Road, Kwanzia Sa Ne, Sa India to Napata Kufika Mlolongo. So, it was Imekwa to mess the whole day. The scale of the damage done here is immeasurable. What started as protests called for by the opposition against the high cost of living in the country quickly mutated into confrontation and standoff between demonstrators and the security agencies. And the outcome was loss of lives and the destruction of property. Ayub Abdikadir, Citizen TV in Mlolongo.